So the first thing we want to do today here is bushwhack the woods and get to the Hanway zone. Uh, what we're looking to find is the, uh, the large gigantic main shaft and the north slope. Um, the main shaft is an incline shaft that goes down to level one. Uh, so is the north slope as well. Uh, we'll put a map up here on the screen and let you see it. Um, both of them are supposedly there and open. Um, that's what we hear. Uh, from past reports of people who've been there years and years ago, so let's head there and uh, and find out. This is uh, the Hanway's main shaft, main incline shaft that we have discovered. We knew it was open, we had seen pictures before, but it is quite a monstrosity down there. Approximately starts at like a 75 degree angle and then starts heading more towards 50 degrees as you get down into the hole. But we'll get down closer and take a look. Um, this is the slope that heads towards the beach and goes down to hit level one. So he's descending down in the darkness. Uh, this is uh, this is a mine explorer that requires rigging for sure. It's just too steep. So proper rigging is required and will be employed today for our explorer. So the main shaft does have a trickle of water that constantly flows into it like so. There's a little mossy brook that goes down and heads right over the precipice into the pit. But uh, yeah, it's not causing too much trouble down there. Okay, he's reporting rail car tracks down there. Are you on bottom? <laughs> so last year at Cape Door, we, uh, we did go in the adit here at Hanways down at beach level. If you go back to that episode, you'll see that. Now we're up top on the uh, the cliff side, and this is where they drove down the uh, the incline shafts, the uh, the slopes to go down into the workings, and it is damn steep up here. But uh, we're we're gonna venture down in there, give you a look. Opening up the iris a bit. There's uh, there's the view here. Uh, we don't want to get too close to the ledge unless we're going down the rope because it uh, it ends up breaking loose rocks. Oh shit! And that's our signal uh, back to him down there. He's whistling. You can hear him down below. That's the signal that he's hit bottom, and it's safe for the next person to proceed. So I'll go down, check things out, and then we'll come back up and make a decision on what we're going to do. Got it.
Okay, the elusive north slope we think is right here. And there's a couple little indicators. It's collapsed over. We had some subscribers tell us that many, many years ago they were here and the north slope was accessible, but it was only through a little man squeeze, a little, little hole, and then you got into the main slope, which is wide open. So we're gonna just dig here with our hands a little bit and just see if we might be able to find something. Just gotta check it. You never know. All right, what to do here? We don't know. We're just reaching for anything. Okay, it seems to be futile. I mean, I guess if we had a pickaxe and... <laughs> we'd do better, but uh, it was worth a try. See if uh, maybe just some mud slumped down over the, uh, the crawl space. But again, this could be uh, nothing as well. But it is in the right spot and it is facing the right direction. Anyway, back to the main shaft. Okay, here's the word. They're back up. Okay, so here's the deal. So when we went down, there was about a, a I wouldn't even say a level. There was a, I don't know, yeah, maybe a level or something, but it wasn't, um, it was maybe five feet across and it was a bit of a bottom. From there, all the rail is bent up and it's kind of holding back the rock. And there was a hole going down through there. So we dropped down through the hole and we went, I don't know, maybe 10 feet. And then I bent down on my hands and knees and I looked and I could see the attic, not the, the beach. And that's it. You could see the beach? You could see the beach. Okay, we're heading down on the rope. I just wanted to give you a point of view and let you see what it looks like. This is looking back up the uh, slope. And uh, just looking down, this is basically what uh, lies beneath. We're just stopped here on the way to get some quick shots. There's the, uh, the torrent of water coming down. And he's already down there waiting for me. Anyway, this is a little decrepit, so can't stop and talk long. We'll uh, see you at the bottom. You're down. All right, here we are down at the bottom. That's looking back up. There's the uh, gushing water there. And if we turn around, all these old twisted rails sort of go down into that far corner and that's where we're going to start crawling. See that opening right there in the middle of the screen? That's where we're going. There's some pipes down here. Again, there's the old rails twisted that go off the walls. Way up. So basically they just threw all this uh, shit down here thinking that they'd fill the bottom, but they didn't. Um, it almost made it to the ceiling, but there are some nice uh, man-sized crawl spaces here, which you'll see him go into. And we'll be going through there next. Here we are on the other side of the pinch and more rails and shit, uh, basically holding back what could have flowed down in here. They sure did bend from the weight, but we've got a really low crawl space that heads downward. And in the distance down there is the little pinch that goes forward. That, uh, that's where it would attach to level one where we came in last year on the beach. So that's what's down there.
Okay, he's gonna go down there and uh, check out the belly crawl status of what he thinks might be possible. It's low down there, folks. But you can... This is the approach to the belly crawl. Oh, it's just the approach to the belly crawl. We're gonna have to go down there and take a closer look, folks. Okay, here's down at the very, very, very bottom, and he's squeezed in there. This is probably only two feet tall. Maybe less in spots. And what do you see down there? Well, it's tight. <laughs> but there is a hole? Yeah. Okay. We're just laying in here, and that, right there, is the teeny tiny crevice that heads out to level one at it. And we'll take a peek in there and show you. Okay, here's looking through that uh, crack. And lo and behold, look at that. There is a uh, level one going out to the beach, the attic we were in last season. And uh, we didn't notice this crack. It's the tunnel immediately off to the right when you come in the attic. And it looked filled to the roof, but it really, it really wasn't. Now this crawl through here is probably a foot and a half. If you crawled through there on your belly, you would feel the rocks against your chest and your back likely, or close to it. Of course, depending on your girth, but we're not gonna go through there today. Uh, here, I'm just gonna switch the light out so you can see the difference. And if you were stuck down here without lights, this is what you would see, and you would go towards the light. All right, time to head back out and back up. Let's go. Here we are back on the beach at Cape Door, coming down from uh, Spencer Point. The boys are up ahead of me. We're headed to the uh, the elusive Palisades Mine. Palisades Mine. Um, no one's really been to it that we can find. Um, it is marked. It appears in several mineral reports that uh, samples have been taken at this adit. So allegedly there is an adit down here. Uh, and it should be technically around this point that you see in the distance. So we're going to find out. And uh, if it is there, we know nothing about it. We don't know how deep it will go. It might be 10 feet deep, it might be a thousand feet deep. We have no idea, but we're going to see. Okay, we think we found it. It's up there, right in the middle of the screen. Now we're not sure. The boys have gone down around the corner just to take a peek, but it does look promising. That looks like a, that looks like an adit. Let's see what happens. Okay, we have decided and determined this is the Palisades Mine. There's really no other evidence against it. It looks great up there. So the boys, as you can see, are already heading up. Massive uh, scree that they've got to scrabble up there and I have to go with them, so. Okay, we're on our way up the scree. It's much bigger and longer than it looks from the beach, but uh, on it goes. We're gonna work our way up the left and right sides here. What are you saying? Oh, we got rocks coming. Coming right for you. <laughs> All right, rock fall. Better turn off the camera and uh, listen for the screams. All right, the boys are already up in there and they're skeptical that is it's a mine. They're in it, but they're going to come out and report. They said they wanted five minutes. Meanwhile, the rest of us are scrabbling up this. It's quite a slow procedure. Again, much bigger than it looks from the beach. Hey. What? It's a cave and it ends. It's a cave and it ends. Is the report coming down? 
All right, we have, uh, we have determined it is a complete abort. The Palisades at it that we thought was there is, uh, that ain't it. They, they say this is a cave and it ends and, uh, I'm not gonna take the camera up there. They know their shit and, uh, if that's what they're saying. We're gonna work our way back down to the beach. Here comes the rock falls, folks. Trying to come down the scree is a little more difficult than going up it, so they're creating some slides. So give me some commentary. What was in there? That was, uh, what was in it? Yeah. Uh, it was just a cave about 10 feet. Whoa, 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 whoa! Cave rock, cave rock, cave rock! I told him to stick with me, what'd you do? Oh, come on, you told me to go first, man! Yeah, man, you want to <laughs> stick with me! Wow, it was about 10 feet deep, had a boulder at the entrance. Uh, it looked like it trended downwards in the back, so then we brought the light up and found out that it choked off at the back. Huh. And that was it. So we have not found the elusive Palisades at it then. We have not. So the Palisade mine, elusive beyond measure to the point that it sucked. Uh, don't think we actually found it. It's probably up here in these cliffs, still hidden somewhere. We did our best. We made it to the GPS point. Just wasn't there. That wasn't it. Unless mines and resources, uh, natural resources thinks that's what it is. So we're heading home, but that, uh, that slope was great. And, uh, that's it for Cape Door. It's starting to rain. We're losing our light and the tide's coming in, so it couldn't be better. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.